I would like to greet you all in the name of Jesus Christ. Praise the Lord. Come to you from Africa International University, a university where we are committed to God's mission and connected to God's world. We bring you very Merry Christmas greetings and we wish you all a very blessed New Year 2023. On behalf of the Chaplaincy and Community Life at Africa International University, we send our greetings and well wishes to the members of the Board of Trustees, the Governing Council, the University Management, the Senate, the various schools and departments of the University, our esteemed faculty and staff, and all our students, wherever you are, together with all our alumni, please know that we have been praying with you and for you through the year. Our theme throughout this year has been connected to his world. In this theme, we have looked at various aspects, especially looking at the nature of the world. And as we come to the moment of Christmas celebration, we would want to bring you very special uh, greetings, knowing that the Lord has watched over you. And we want to thank all our students, our staff, and our faculty, and all who have supported the Christian ministries programs and spiritual programs at the university during this year. Our students, we really want to give you, to give you thumbs up. You have been very devoted, very committed to the cause of Christ. You have participated fully in our various uh, spiritual exercises. You have participated fully in the chapel services, the Sunday services, the grace groups, the Christian Union meetings and fellowships, and all other endeavors in which we have engaged you. We want to tell you thank you. And we want to encourage all our students, both continuing and incoming, should God give you an opportunity to join this very esteemed institution of higher learning, it is our hope and our desire that you will find fulfillment, you will find meaning, and you will find expression in giving your best to the cause of Christ. I would like just to read two verses from the scripture about the birth of Christ. In Matthew chapter 1, verse 22 and 23, the scripture tells us, now all this was done, that it might be fulfilled, which was spoken of the Lord by the prophet, saying, Behold, a virgin shall be with child, and shall bring forth a son, and they shall call his name Emmanuel, which being interpreted is God with us. And therefore, as you celebrate Christmas, please remember that you will be celebrating the faithfulness of God. God keeps his promise, God has kept his promise, and God kept his promise by bringing his son to be born, to take upon himself the form of a human being, the form of a servant. And being found in that fashion as a man, he humbled himself and became obedient unto death, even death of the cross. We join through this festive season to acknowledge that God has been faithful. God has been faithful through the year. God has been faithful in our lives corporately and privately. God has been faithful in our families. God has kept his side of the bargain. As we go into this Christmas season, may we also be found faithful. Faithful to God, faithful to our families, faithful to our loved ones, and faithful in our places of work. Secondly, we see in this passage that God was bringing his son and his name would be called and was called Emmanuel, which being interpreted means God with us. We want to wish you, Emmanuel, God with us. May you embrace, may you entertain, may you allow access into your life. May you be preoccupied by the God who is present, Emmanuel. God with us. May the presence of Christ with you throughout this festive season remind you 
that God will be with you through the turbulences of life, through the perplexities of day-to-day life, through the day-to-day experiences of life, the way in which God has watched over you through this year. Please remain faithful to Him as you face the end of the year and as you prepare for the new year 2023. God will be available. God will be present. God will intervene in your circumstances. Celebrate Christmas with a sense of joy. For those internationals, as you travel back to your various countries, go knowing that Christ will be with you and go knowing that he is concerned about your concern. He will come in the very realities of your life. He accepted to be born in a manger so that there is nothing too complex, nothing too simple that Christ cannot be involved in. Allow Christ to be Emmanuel, God with us, even as you celebrate the Christmas season. I would like to pray a prayer of blessing upon you, our students, our colleagues, our staff, and those members of the various councils and committees that run this institution. We want to pray that God will give you good God speed as you go through this Christmas season. May God watch over your going and watch over your coming. May you find Christ faithful. May you find God faithful. And may you find God present with you, privately, corporately, and even as a family. And so we pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you. We thank you for the favor and the blessing that you have given to Africa International University through the year 2022. We thank you for the blessing of our Board of Trustees, the blessing of our University Council, the blessing of our University Management, the blessing of the University Senate, the blessing of the various schools and deans of schools, the blessing of the departments and the heads of departments, the blessing of all faculty and staff, the blessing of our students, dear Lord, we thank you. We thank you that you have stood by us. You have been Emmanuel God with us. You have watched over our coming. You have watched over our going. You have given us good health. You have given us a sound mind. Lord, we commit ourselves anew to you and pray that through the festive season of this Christmas, you will watch over each one in our movements, in our endeavors, in our ministry, in our commitments, in our families, and in our relationships. We pray even for our academic endeavors that your presence will be real. Christ be the Emmanuel of each one of us and grant that we will indeed reciprocate your faithfulness by being faithful to you, by loving you, by living for you, and by serving you. Could there be anyone, dear Lord, who through this festive season is facing challenges, challenges of loss, challenges of bereavement, challenges of sickness, challenges of lack of the basics of life. We pray that in your own intervention, in the way in which you have presented your son as God with us, you will indeed permeate through the turbulences of their lives, make a way for them. We pray for those who may be at the verge of losing hope, that you will sustain their hope through the rest of this year and even into the new year. Renew their strength, renew their hope, and restore their fortunes. Lord Jesus, come in and dwell among us. Be the Emmanuel for each one of us. And we pray that when you do so, and you give us the blessing of the new year together, we will be able to say, this far has the Lord brought us. And so we commit Africa International University and all the friends and all the aspiring students of this institution, we commit them to you and pray. May you throw your great light upon each and everyone's path. We pray for your blessing through the festive season and through the Christmas season. In the name of God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Thank you all. We wish you a very Merry Christmas and a blessed year 2023. AIU, Africa International University, committed to God's mission, connected to God's word. Amen.